So today, guys, we're covering a story from Bradford about a man named Shoaib Khan who was stabbed to death after he repeatedly fired a handgun from the passenger window of a car. The three men accused of murder, brothers Nazir and Shafiq Khan, also known as Naz and Shaf, and their brother-in-law, Maskeen Khan, responded by surging towards the black Volkswagen Golf, causing the driver, Zahor Hussein, to reverse into a wall as he tried to drive away. The attackers then smashed the car windows and subjected Shoaib Khan and Mr. Hussein to extreme violence with at least one knife and other weapons. Police found Shoaib Khan, dying from a stab wound to the chest at the side of the car. The attack happened in East Squire Lane, Manningham. Difficulties between the two sides, the Khan family who lived in Highfield Place, Manningham and the Girlington Group, stemmed from bad feeling after Nazir Khan and another brother were jailed for drugs offences in September 2006. They wrongly believed another defendant, Yasmin Nawaz, had received a suspended sentence because she was a police informant. A meeting was arranged between the two sides near to Lister Park, Manningham. It was alleged Nazir Khan handed a sawn-off shotgun to Shafiq Khan, who held it to the heads of four people, including Ayaz Khan, a friend of Mrs Nawaz and her husband, before discharging it into the air. An ally of the Khans, Joshua Groves Hunter, wielded a baseball bat and possibly a bladed weapon during the incident, it was claimed. Nine days later, it was alleged Ayaz Khan was subjected to a severe beating by Nazir Khan, Shafiq Khan and Groves Hunter, with baseball bats and metal objects in his car, in Durham Terrace, after praying at the mosque. Ayaz Khan returned to his home in Kensington Street, Girlington, and there was a gathering of people intent on retribution. The group went to the Khan's home, where women and children were present, and broke the windows before leaving the area. Ayaz's brother, Shoab Khan, had been contacted in Sheffield, and he had left for Bradford. The Khan brothers and Maskeen Khan came out of the house as Shoaib Khan arrived. He had undoubtedly come for trouble. He held a handgun out of the open passenger window. He was wearing a balaclava. He discharged a gun at least four times, although to no great effect. The response from the Khans was immediate and very violent. They advanced immediately upon the stranded car to attack the occupants. It wasn't an attack just to remove weapons. It went far beyond that. Naz Khan and Shaf Khan were found guilty after a six-week trial. They were sentenced to life imprisonment, with a minimum of 12 years before they can be considered for release. Their brother-in-law, Muskin Khan, who was cleared of murder but found guilty of manslaughter by reason of provocation, was jailed for five years. Shafiq Khan was released in 2019 from prison and currently in 2023, he is on the run in Pakistan after fleeing the country after being investigated for the Encrochet.